It's official. A beloved Philadelphia church is scheduled for demolition. Don, it's a big loss, not only for those who attended the church, but for people who just love the building itself. Absolutely, Shane. St. Laurentius Church has been the heart and soul of this community for many, many years, and it is a crushing blow to residents who live here and those who fought so hard to save this church. It's sad. Everybody's heartbroken. You know, I mean, that, that was our parish. Lynn Redderschofer joined St. Laurentius Roman Catholic Church more than 45 years ago when she first moved to this Fishtown neighborhood. She's devastated the Philadelphia Department of Licenses and Inspections today issued a permit authorizing the complete demolition of the beloved landmark. There'll be a lot of tears. It was part of our life. The Philadelphia Archdiocese closed the church in 2014, and it's been the focus of a years-long fight by residents to save the iconic building. I've been to court so many times um, trying to save the church, and nobody wanted to listen. Ellen I says it agreed with the owner's engineer that the church built in 1882 is in danger of collapsing and needs to come down. Emma Cross says it's a part of Philly history and will be a huge loss to the close-knit community. The first Polish Catholic church, and it's, it's really unfortunate. I mean, even the pieces of copper, like, it stood the test of time. Sean Hearn bought his house right across the street so he could take in the soaring spires that define the skyline. I love the fact that the church was here, and it was nice to look at it and, you know, be a part of the neighborhood. He worries now what will go up in its place. Anytime there's an empty plot of land anywhere in Fishtown, it's going to be another new construction, more construction, it tears up the streets, causes all kinds of mayhem. Demolition is not expected to begin until at least mid-November. I says it will be complex and require lots of planning. Most of the work will be done entirely by hand. There will be an on-site engineer and license and inspection says that it also plans to closely monitor the work with inspections, both scheduled and surprise inspections, to make sure everything is in compliance here. Shana. All right, Don Timoney, live for us in Fishtown. Thank you, Don.